Hello everyone, Unforgiven here with another GIMP tutorial and today we're going to be looking at adding a detailed shadow into a photo. I have already went on to the inter inter internet and uh, downloaded a photo here that I thought I could really uh, use for this tutorial. I'm going to be putting a shadow onto the wall behind the person walking here. And uh, to do this, the first step is we're going to extract the female here from the photo with a layer mask and if you don't already know how to do that uh, I have another t tutorial covering how to extract with a layer mask and I will leave that link in the descri description below uh, just to save a little time uh, so this tutorial doesn't run a real long time uh, so like I said I would first start out by uh, removing the female from the background with the layer mask and once you have done so you should be left with two copies uh, or I'm sorry two layers over here uh, and like I said if you don't already know how to get to here I will link leave the link in the description below uh, to know how to do this and what we have here is if I turn off the wall the original picture layer uh, you'll see that I have just pulled out the female walking. Okay, and what we want to do from here is we want to click on the extracted uh, image uh, layer up here, and we're going to duplicate it. Okay, and I want to come down to the center or the middle uh, layer want to uh, copy from and I'm going to right click on that layer and scroll down to alpha to selection and what this is going to do is it is going to select everything inside this layer that's not transparent uh, and so if I turn off everything you'll see the only thing here is the person walking Okay, and now we're going to want to make sure that that layer is highlighted and we're going to come over and click on the bucket fill tool and we're going to make sure that our foreground color is black uh, if it's not you can just click in the bottom corner right here and it will automatically change these back to default and down below here in the tool options we want to make sure that the foreground color fill block, or block is checked and that the fill hole selection is checked. And once all that is done we're going to come over to the image and just right inside the selection here we're going to click once and what that does if I turn off the top layer uh, you'll see we have basically created a black uh, image that completely fills up where the female was walking. Okay, now we can come up to select and select none. And I'm going to hide this top copy so I can see. Actually, I'll take that back. Uh, I'm going to come up here to this top copy and I am going to lower the opacity down about a little over halfway so I can see what I'm doing uh, when I go to move around the shadow here and you'll see what I mean here in just a moment uh, so lower the opacity down a little over halfway and I want to come back to the shadow layer that we created here and over to our toolbox and select the move tool and down to the shadow and more than likely you're going to have to actually hide this top layer uh, to do this because if you try to click directly on here with this top layer visible it grabs it instead of the shadow like we want so we're just going to hide that top layer just for the moment uh, make sure our move tool is selected and we're going to move the shadow back to the wall here now you can see oh, the original photo is there so we can still see the, the female 
Now the shadow is, is cast across here, and you can see, <coughs> excuse me, you can actually see it in front of the person, and uh, we'll take care of that here in just a moment. But uh, just get it lined up about where you want it, make it look like it's just shining back onto the wall, maybe from a little bit of sunlight coming from an angle. Okay, and once we get it about where you want it, and we'll go ahead and uh, make this top layer visible again, and highlight that, so we're back on the top layer, and increase that opacity all the way back to 100, and that should hide the uh, shadow layer behind the female there, and uh, I think it looks like we can still see a little bit coming through, and we'll take care of that in just a moment. Okay. Uh, coming back down to our shadow layer here, uh, we're going to right click. As if you'll notice, there is a yellow, the yellow border here uh, <coughs> is the image, or excuse me, the layer size or the layer border, and it does extend beyond our canvas size. Uh, so we're going to right click on that shadow layer and scroll down, or excuse me, scroll to layer to image size. And that's just going to resize that layer uh, to fit the canvas. Uh, now, once we have done that, uh, now you can now shadow on the wall is actually pretty dark right now. You can change the opacity of that and drop that down to uh, give it a nice fade, and that's that works pretty well. Uh, also, like to uh, make sure that is selected the shadow layer and come up to filters and we're going to give it a blur a nice little Gaussian blur a Gaussian blur and uh, this is a pretty large picture um, I'm going to put that at 7 pixels and click OK alright now kind of hard to, it, it, it was hard to tell unless you look close but it did give a slight blur around the edges of our shadow there giving a more realistic look uh, like it's being cast uh, from a light source now we'll zoom in right here right fast and you'll be able to see it, it's kind of hard to see but the shadow does come across here just a little bit and we want to get rid of that uh, so we'll come down to the shadow layer and right click and we're going to add a layer mask to that one uh, white full opacity and click add uh, making sure we are on the white layer mask that we just added uh, coming over to the toolbox and clicking on the paintbrush making sure our colors are the default black and white white is to show and black is to hide uh, in this case and we're just going to uh, erase right through here a little bit bigger brush not quite that big make sure that there's no shadow casting through onto the original image because uh, we don't want that we don't want to darken it up any more than it already is and okay That looks pretty good there. Drop back out. Uh, let's see, 25% so we can see the entire photo here. Now that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and apply or right. I'm sorry. You said what I'm doing there. Um, if it once you get everything looking good there, as far as removing any kind of excess shadow from uh, from your uh, your image there, we're going to right click on the shadow layer and select apply layer mask 
as we are finished with that and that is just going to combine the two together uh, just making it a solid layer again okay I don't believe there's much else we need to do here uh, now, if you really wanted to get technical, uh, you could add in more shadow. Uh, at the feet here, going from the feet to the wall, I, I know that's missing. And, uh, I mean, if you really, really wanted to get into detail. And there's a couple ways you could do that. I mean, you could just simply clone stamp uh, a piece of the uh, shadow here. Uh, down onto the foot, which will probably be the easiest thing to do, and just kind of clip out. Let's see. Apologize for that. That was a wrong brush. I'll undo those. Uh, before I do that, I want to change my brush to a faded brush, so it's not so deep and dark there. And uh, I'm just going to give it a little bit of shadow into the leg, or into the foot, excuse me there, so it looks a little more realistic. I think it's pretty good there, it looks good to me. Uh, like I said, you just want to get it looking as best as you can. And that would be just about our finished product. Now, if you wanted to blur that a little more uh, or drop it down, you can drop down the opacity a little more. Uh, but the last thing I would like to do before I would finish this picture up once I got it looking uh, pretty well here is come up to uh, colors and down to levels and normally I would use curves but curves on this light on black and white uh, really don't work very well uh, there's such a minimal change uh, the levels works a lot better for this and it's the output levels that we're going to be adjusting here so we're going to just grab there's a little black tick bar here uh, you'll be able to see it on in your program a whole lot better than one that I've got here because of the scheme I have or the theme I have going. But we're just going to pull that up. And you can see as you kind of play around with that and get it in a good spot towards a little, a little more faded. That yeah, looks pretty good. And, and if you want to, you can even, like I said, you could even get this another blur, another Gaussian blur. Uh, just for the heck of it, to make it a little more, no, no, not quite so fine against the wall, uh, like it's a little more of a real shadow. So there you go, uh, now you've created a shadow or a detailed shadow within a photo. And that would conclude our tutorial for today. Please take a second to hit that like and subscribe button below, below and tune in next week for another video.